California is the worst state in the country to locate a business. In California, quite honestly, it's, you know, it's how, how can we stop you? How many regulations can we enact? People are getting tired of not being listened to, and something's got to give. I don't think the California politicians realize they're playing a game. Uh, and they're losing because they don't even know that they're in the game. Let's face it, the California dream is a bit tarnished these days as companies leave because of high taxes and a tough regulatory environment. Tonight in this Fox 11 News special, Saving the California Dream, we'll hear cold hard facts from businesses that have left and hope from innovators who share their success stories. We'll be joined by Brian Lee, the founder of LegalZoom and Shoe Dazzle, and Robert Parker, the CEO of Lee Station. Our series producer, Heidi Kuda, is also here. Heidi's been traveling the state to bring us these stories. And Heidi, what has happened and in what is happening to California? Uh, a key theme is there is this complete disconnect between businesses and Sacramento. The exodus is real, and many of our leaders appear to be in some sort of denial about it. Let's take a reality check. At just under 12%, California has the highest unemployment in the country after Nevada, with more than 2 million people out of work. We were the eighth largest economy in the world, but Brazil just bumped us down to ninth. Ten years ago, Carlos, California was sick, so it shows that decline. Here's a taste of why some companies say they're leaving. In Texas, from the time you apply for your permits to build to the time you can start construction, the average time is about six weeks. In uh, California, it's about eight months. In California, quite honestly, it's, you know, it's how, how can we stop you? How many regulations can we enact? It's easier to build a restaurant in Shanghai than it is to build a restaurant in Los Angeles. It's like the government has its hands on our back pushing us out of the state. In California, you get all this nice stuff, you know, that yeah. business should be able to flourish here. Right. Um, but it's like a little kid going to a playground where you get the, all the equipment's really nice, but it says keep out at the door. Texas politicians at the local, city, and state level are taking square aim at California businesses, encouraging them to relocate or set up new operations in Texas, and they're winning. I think the California dream is just, uh, it's the American dream, but maybe a step up. We, you, this was so the land of opportunity, so the golden state. And there was an energy and a freedom and, a, and an ability to achieve and accomplish that probably outshone any other state in the United States. We lost that. That's gone now. So we need to get that back. Boy, but how do we get it back? Wow, right? Yeah. Texas. Our mojo is gone. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Not entirely. We're going to hear from these guys. We'll yeah. hear about it. But the fact is that Texas has been poaching our business bad, and they're not the only state. You know, a lot of these states offer cash incentives and a much more business-friendly attitude, and they're just, you know, our, some of our own companies are growing Huge in cash state. incentives. Yeah. Not just a little oh, yeah. bit of cash. A lot oh, yeah. of cash incentives and a lot of tax benefits that these companies are... It's a very attractive scenario for some of these companies to just pack up and leave California. All right, let's get our guests Absolutely. in on this. Absolutely. Brian Lee and Robert Parker are, are here. And, uh, you know, Brian, you have been uh, an advocate of California. Your business is here. Your business has continued to be here. Why? It's very simple. It's California is probably the best state in the United States. It's an incredibly entrepreneurial state, a state filled with innovation, and we love being here. I don't see any point in moving. And the only thing is LegalZoom, which you founded, right. actually is building in Texas. That's right. And that is a theme, and I'm not sure, I'm, you're not a fan of that, but that is a reality. That is true. Um, right. that, was a, that was a board decision. Uh, but there are, we still have the bulk of our employees right here uh, in Southern California, and we're proud to be part of this community. Um, the two other businesses that I've started, ShoeDazzle.com, mm -hmm. uh, is headquartered right in Santa Monica, and all of our employees are, are right there in Koreatown, actually, in, in the heart of Los Angeles and in uh, Santa Monica. And the third business that I started, Honest.com, which launches on Tuesday. I'm very excited about that. Nice. And that is also headquartered You're in Santa Monica. You're just a non-stop serial entrepreneur. That's <laughs> yeah, your problem. Exactly. Bob, uh, now tell me about, uh, you, you said that there was a, a not, do not come in or not, uh, an unwelcome sign to yeah, California. Yeah, you know, it's, I, I've had a business here for years. And, you know, it was, it was very painful for me to move out or move my business to Arizona. But I, had, I was faced with a couple things. One is, do I lay off these people? 
uh, do I do I reduce the, the, the my my force um, and affect my customer service, or do I move to Arizona, save 25 percent of my bottom line, be able to keep my people? I moved them over to California uh, to, to Arizona, okay. um, and still be able to grow my business. So. Um, yeah, I, I, I say uh, I love California. I still live in California on weekends, uh, but it was just very difficult for me to grow the business here. Yeah, as something for you, Brian, what's interesting is you brand a lot of your companies with celebrities, That's which correct. you do in LA. Right. So that makes sense for you. Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, LegalZoom, I, I partnered with Robert Shapiro uh, to start the business. Uh, with Shoe Dazzle, I partnered with Kim Kardashian to start it. And with Honest.com, which launches on Tuesday, we, I started that with Jessica Alba. So being right here in Los Angeles is actually extremely beneficial for, looking for at, my business models. We're right. looking at shuttered yeah. stores and businesses. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I, I'm curious, what kinds of problems have you run into in California? Why is it so tough to do business here, Bob? And that's well, I Bob. think that the, the, you know, there's, you know, there's this top 10 reasons why businesses leave California that, and I, you know, I, I looked that up and I was going down them and saying, and I think I experienced every one of them, but really <laughs> it's, it's, it's the, it's the political burden, it's the tax burden, um, you know, it's, it's the friendliness of doing business. I mean, Arizona, when I went to Arizona, Arizona, I mean, they opened their door, their arms for us and said we had both federal and state politicians show up to, to events. And let me guess, when you left California, when you were getting ready to leave California, <laughs> yeah, California right. wanted their tax money, right? Oh, you bet they did. They, they, before they, you they left, continue instead to of do trying it. to keep you here, they said we need our taxes before you leave. Yeah, Am I right. correct? That's right. That's exactly about what that. That, That's a friendly environment, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. All right, basically. we have a lot more to talk about. Coming up, we're going to hear from some California politicians who say they're ready to wage a fight for jobs, but is talk cheap? You cannot be pro-job and anti-business. If you believe in job creation, if you want to get those 2.157 million people back to work, you've got to embrace that entrepreneurial spirit of the private sector.